we all learn in different ways. And I think at different times, we consume in, in different ways, right? There's so many benefits to video if you have the time to sit down and, and watch it and listen to it, right? And But sometimes the image with a great pull quote or like a, a case study is more skimmable than a video, right? And now, you know, we're all on our phone often and we're remote environment is a little chaotic. And so, yeah, I think it's more important than ever to give people the options to consume customer stories in the, the format uh, that works best for them. I think what I've seen, it's definitely more focus on micro content, not just um, you know one size fits all micro content, but also taking a more sort of nuanced approach and you know mapping out the whole kind of buyer journey and then saying, okay, here's the customer, here are the common questions, fears, or doubts that we get at this stage, what should the corresponding customer content be for that stage? And then moving on to the next stage in the buyer journey, a little bit further down the funnel, like basically doing the same thing. It's basically just taking, you know, marketing and sales enablement best practices, but actually applying them through the lens of customer stories, which I think is incredibly, incredibly powerful because early on, if people don't kind of know that they have the problem, like they're just not going to, you know, have the attention to sit through that, you know, in-depth video or in-depth written case study, right? But there still could be a soundbite or a quote that will be relevant. That's what it's all about is mapping the buyer journey and then making use of everything you have, you know, as it pertains to that customer story, making the most out of it.